Good evening, everyone. It is Sunday, August 4th, 2019. This is Gail Lloyd, your symbolic figurehead of the Tangerine Blood Orange Evolution. And um, I'm doing this update for a couple of reasons. I don't know if you can see, I know these videos when they get up to YouTube get kind of lossy, but um, you can see a lot of hits on my face and, and my, my little video here. Um, using chemical weapons, and um, I'm doing this video for a couple reasons tonight. One, I noticed my very extensive uh, report about how the police have been treating me very, they've been very criminal in their behaviors towards me for years, since 2008, and I made a very detailed report of that and posted it on Facebook, and I went back to, to look at it today, and um, it had been censored out of my Facebook page. And so I thought I would try to do this documentary via video, because they don't seem to be able to, to censor YouTube yet. And as well, um, they tried a new chemical weapon on me today. Um, I had gotten a new air mattress to sleep on, because as they hit with their electrochemical weapons, up through the floorboards, um, they actually make micro holes, and my last mattress would deflate every two hours, and so I wasn't getting <laughs> enough, uh, you know, real deep sleep, um, you know, on top of being assaulted almost nonstop by these electrochemical weapons. So um, last night, I just, I just really passed out. I was really unconscious. Um, they tend not to assault me when I'm in a deep sleep. And um, when they get tired of me sleeping, they'll usually cattle prod me with something um, very painful in the hip to, to wake me up so they can start torturing me again. Um, so, you know, I went to sleep about 11. I got up briefly at 7 to shower and detox and then dropped into deep unconsciousness until they cattle prodded me at noon today um, where they proceeded to uh, hit me hard in the face and... Uh, rape and molest me on until about 4.30. Um, then I, I was able to eat a cup of cereal, um, and then they started assaulting me again. And so I, I got into the bathtub um, with Epsom salts and baking soda and was there for quite a while. And... Um, when I tried to get out again, they hit me with a new weapon um, in the crotch, which was um, hor horrific. Uh, hard to describe how horrible it was, but it left um, sizable, very poisonous welts all over the, the areas that they sprayed. So I had to rush back into the tub and detox for another 20 minutes or so, and um, then I got out again. And um, you know, I was doing just little little chores like laundry and making the bed, etc. Um, and uh, then they started hitting me with this. Uh, it's like an organ penetrating toxic chemical. Um, and they they had a, I had experienced this one usually in the afternoons before, but they had upped the concentration on that as well. So I was really feeling uh, very in pain, sick, and starting to go into anaphylactic shock. Um, so I went in the bathtub again to, to sh just shower. And um, when I got out again, they hit me with a new chemical again that um, leaves, you know, horrible, poisonous welts. Um, they were hitting me primarily in, in, in the back and the buttocks. And, um, and I was quickly going back into shock again, an indescribably horrible sensation of, of itching and sickening, burning pain, um, almost like somebody was whipping you with a cat of nine tails with poison tips. Um, so I had to go once again back into the bath, um, you know, quick shower with a hot shower, and then back into a lukewarm water with baking soda and Epsom salts again and uh, milk of magnesia. Um, magnesium seems to bring break these chemicals down as well, and um, so I was there again f for a while longer. And um, then I hear I, I've been hearing my very fearful, angry allies beseeching them to to stop and to understand. No matter what they do to me, um, I will never 
capitulate and participate, and they were really trying to uh, appeal to my humanity and, and the work I'm doing in the world. And so very grateful to you guys for that. Um, and then uh, as I was detoxing, I heard new voices of my allies yelling and saying more than once, look at what it says on the canister, lethal if you don't dilute. Look what it says. It says it right on the canister. This is lethal if you don't dilute it. You guys are lunatics. So that uh, was another attempt on my life today. And, um, the, you know, clearly uh, the ones, you know, at, at the top of this uh, pack of jackals are, are, have completely lost their minds and um, have no connection with the repercussions of their actions, um, how it would hurt them, you know, as, as well as, you know, if, if I were to die um, or become uh, horrifically maimed. Um, as they continue to escalate and think they're going to make a difference, um, you know, it's just outrageous that our government just stands back and lets this happen. And I, I heard again, you know, this is how they do it in the military more than once today as well. So, you know, how, how horrible that, you know, America's tax dollars are going towards this sort of technology. And then it's being used not on, quote, unquote, the enemy, but pe peaceful gentle private citizens. <clears throat> okay, um, I think I'm going to wrap this up um, just with this segment tonight and I'll do the, the detailed police report maybe later tonight, maybe not, we'll see. But um, uh, keep me in your thoughts everybody. Stay safe. Bye for now.